It is our first morning on the Trans-Siberian and it's time to figure out how to get coffee. We brought like a ton of powder coffee. The problem is we don't have anything to make it in. And we've heard that if you order coffee or tea once, they give you like a nice glass mug that you can just keep reusing. So I'm gonna take this little thing and, and point to this. Good luck. I could have just ordered seven coffees. I'm not sure if I tried to tell her I wanted two coffees, but then I think she asked me what like room. Uh, what do you call these things? Cabin. What what cabin number we were, and I told her seven, and then I started thinking, huh, maybe she was like reconfirming how many coffees I wanted. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, it's in the cool light. Mmm, powdered coffee. <laughs> coffee was only a dollar for both of us and now we have these mugs to keep for the rest of our trip we don't get to keep them like forever you can buy them but they're like 20 bucks uh, but now we can use our own powder coffee our own tea everything we brought because there is a hot water dispenser at the end of the train and it's free so we can drink as much tea and as much coffee as we want the rest of the time mm -hmm. but I thought it was gonna be way more expensive on the train a dollar for two coffees is pretty good Makes the water look super gross. Yeah, <laughs> it does look gross. So we bought some instant oatmeal to eat for breakfast. The only problem is we don't have bowls or spoons. So we're gonna use an old camping trick, which is making instant oatmeal in a Ziploc bag. I don't trust you to pour that. <laughs> and now you just shut the bag, mash it together for a couple minutes, and then your oatmeal's ready. It's really hot. Normally, like when you're camping, it's cold outside, and this is really nice on your hands in the morning, but here it's just burning me. <laughs> and then when you're ready to eat it, all you have to do is bite off the tip, and then no mess. Whoever thought camping skills would come in handy on the trans here? <laughs> so our train just came to a stop for the first time since we've been awake. It is 12.15. I've heard that the train stops for about 20 minutes at each stop and you can like hop off and grab food or drinks if you want to. But since this is the first one, I'm a little scared to jump off. I'm gonna like time it on my watch and then maybe the next one or the one after that, I'll be comfortable enough to like jump off and at least stretch our legs. I'm just scared of getting left right now. That would be so terrible. All of our stuff would just go to, to Mongolia. This, that's actually where this train ends is in Mongolia. Other people are getting off though. They're braver than us. And Kara's eating brownies for breakfast. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. fixing to leave you but there wasn't so I'm still a little scared to stray too far away from the train but our cabin attendant like the lady who brings you food or whatever you need she stands at the door as kind of like the gatekeeper so I feel like at the next stop I can just like point to my watch and maybe she'll tell me what time it's leaving that's my strategy magic coffee Lunch today, we're having instant mashed potatoes, which I've never had before. I'm actually kind of excited about this. And an apple. I think this is the only healthy thing that we brought on this trip. Oops. So now we're gonna go figure out how to make these with the hot water. Whoop. Hot. Holding hot water on a moving train seems so dangerous. I almost fell into that person's room. Oh yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like baby food. Wow. I'm really impressed. I think it's delicious. It doesn't need salt or anything. So 
before we eat lunch, I thought I would explain a little bit why we're so excited about this train trip. So since we travel full time, we're just constantly like go, go, going. We've been to nine countries just this month. So it's really nice to be stuck in one place for 74 hours. That might sound like the average person's nightmare, but we're loving just relaxing. I get to edit videos because I don't need internet to do that. We got to go to bed at a decent hour last night. We got to sleep in. I'm really enjoying this day. Maybe we'll get bored eventually, but I don't think we will. It is about 3.45. Our train just stopped for the second time. So I've jumped off. I asked our carriage attendant how much time we had. She flashed 10-10 with her hands. So I'm guessing like as long as I'm back on the train by four, I should be fine. The one thing that we don't have is water. So I'm gonna see if I can find some water for the rest of the trip. We have hot water, just not like cold water. Thank you. Спасибо. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's sparkling. Thanks. So now, as promised, we are going to give you our official room tour. We are on train 006, upside down lowercase h, A. The upside down lowercase h is acrylic letter that I have no earthly idea what it's called. But as I said earlier, we could find no information about this specific train on the internet. There's other nicer like premium trains called firmery trains. I think they're 001 and 002. And there is some information about those on the internet and we're actually gonna be riding one of those the second half of this trip. But like this particular train that's not considered one of the premium trains was hard to find any information about. So hopefully this is helpful to some people. This room that we have right now is actually way nicer than what I expected. But now I'm gonna let Carrie give you the tour. So we booked a first class train. First class trains aren't really the same as first class airplanes, but they are super nice because Nate and I have this room all to ourselves. In second class, you have four people to a room. And in third class, you have a lot more people. So the beds are pretty comfortable. They're not amazingly comfortable, but we both slept fine. They also lift up. Ugh. You can just have a normal seat if you want, but we decided to keep them as beds. There's this huge storage space where we've been keeping our blankets. You can also keep your bags or something under there. It came with these big, nice blankets and a fleece blanket and a sheet and two fluffy pillows per bed. So we are nice and warm. There's also space on this side of the bed where we have bags. There's also storage in here. This is where Nate has his toiletries. We each got two of these towels and there's storage in here. So in addition to the storage under the bed and in the cabinets, there's this big shelf up here. That's where Nate has his suitcase and our two huge bags of food. And there's a TV. We haven't figured out how to use it yet, but we've heard this is in some of the newer trains. Our door locks and you can keep it open or closed or whatever. There's people in the rooms next to us, but everybody kind of keeps to themselves. We also have an air conditioner that we can't control in the room, but you can ask them to turn it on for you. Now I'm going to show you the bathroom. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt a little bit. Just a basic toilet. It flushes, there's toilet paper, there's paper towels, and there's soap. And there's one. forgot one of the most important things there are two outlets so we can keep all of our electronics charged which is a huge deal for us the only thing this train is missing is Wi-Fi hope you enjoyed the tour if you are planning to go on the Trans-Siberian hopefully this was helpful to you and even if you're not hopefully you found it interesting successful first day on the Trans-Siberian Railway time to make some ramen and call it a night 
Maybe watch some of the movies we downloaded. Work on our computers a little bit. This is like real vacation. We're well, enjoying being cooped up in the same space for a long period of time. <laughs> We're so weird. Yummy. Yeah, I mean. 